Hello everyone, welcome back to my Royal Life News Channel. The story for today is the Duchess of Cambridge recycled a £285 beige Reese blazer as she joined Prince William to meet with aid workers who have returned from the Ukraine at the Disasters Emergency Committee in London this morning. Kate Middleton, 40, smiled as she arrived at the engagement in London alongside her husband the Duke, 39, earlier today, where they met the DEC's chief executive Salah Saeed as well as aid workers who have recently returned from Ukraine and neighboring countries where 5 million refugees have fled. The mother of three recycled her neutral-colored £285 Reese double-breasted blazer, which features tailored simplicity with a soft finish, YP lapels and button fastenings, and paired the piece with navy trousers and a white t-shirt. It was business as usual for the royal couple today, who are not expected to join the Queen for her 96th birthday celebration at Sandringham, which comes comes amid fresh frustration from the royal family after Prince Harry took potshots at the firm in US TV interviews. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were today questioned about the Duke of Sussex's controversial comment about ensuring the Queen was protected, as the fallout from his incendiary interview continued. A broadcaster called out to William and Kate when they left the London headquarters of the Disasters Emergency Committee DEC, as the organisation announced its fund total for its Ukraine appeal had passed £300 million. The Duke and Duchess did not respond and continued into the vehicle before being driven away. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge carried on as usual during the visit today, and appeared relaxed as they arrived at the engagement. Instead, the Duke and Duchess spoke to staff on the ground in Ukraine via video link to get a clearer picture of the current situation and hear about how aid is helping people in need. They also heard how the crisis in Ukraine is having far-reaching consequences in other countries by driving up food prices. Further showing their support, both William and Kate sported pins showcasing the blue and yellow of the Ukrainian flag underneath a white love heart, while the Duke donned a navy suit for the outing. The mother of three swept her glossy brunette hair back from her face, completing her look with a subtle pink lipstick and bronzer. The royal, who is known for her love of re-wearing pieces and high street brands, also opted to wear her favorite pair of £550 earrings for the appearance. The Duchess was first snapped in the stunning yellow gold citrine pear drop earrings from Kiki McDonough in 2009, and they have become a favorite of hers over the past 12 years. The visit comes as the Disasters Emergency Committee DEC, announced that the Ukraine Humanitarian Appeal had raised over £300 million. Speaking to the Duke and Duchess via video link from Kyiv, Rachel Cummings, health led for Save the Children in Ukraine explained how the funds were transforming the way they had been able to respond to the crisis. She explained, what the DEC funds have meant is that we've been able to significantly scale up our existing work in the country. We're building our response to providing mobile health units, trauma kits, pharmaceuticals, medical equipment, nutrition support and safe drinking water to respond to this crisis. We're particularly concerned about the devastating effect on children and these funds mean that we can ensure that children receive high-quality care and support now, and in the months ahead. Meanwhile the couple also spoke with aid workers at the organization's headquarters in London. Vanessa Maynard, Programs and Operations Officer for Christian Aid told the Duke and Duchess, I've just returned from Hungary where with DEC funds we've been responding rapidly through our existing network of local partners. We're helping integrate refugees into the communities by supporting them with group cash so they can decide for themselves how best to address their specific needs like buying nappies, paying rent for the lodgings in host communities, or even pet food as many have fled with their animals as they couldn't bear to leave without them. We're also providing them with hot meals, temporary rest in community centers, safe spaces for children to receive trauma care, and information on their rights when they arrive in the host countries. It comes as 13 member charities of the DEC that are responding to the crisis have laid out their plans for their response over the first six months. Many charities started spending funds immediately and these plans now give a more detailed account of how DEC charities plan to spend money up until the end of August, although because the situation is so fluid that they may be adjusted to suit the needs on the ground. 
DEC Chief Executive Sala explained, DEC charities have been quickly and efficiently scaling up their work to help people inside Ukraine and refugees fleeing over the border. We are seeing the real impact of the work they are doing, whether that is incubators for babies born under bombardment in Ukraine or vital protection work to ensure that vulnerable refugees are kept safe as they flee the conflict. We are incredibly grateful to the generous British public, to all the inspiring people and organizations that continue to do all they can to support people affected by this devastating conflict. We have seen everything from homemade badges sold in village shops to beautiful limited edition artwork and of course, the concert for Ukraine, which was broadcast not only nationally, but inside Ukraine as people watch the visible display of support from laptops in underground bunkers. It feels as though everyone is doing their bit and more. It's not the first time the couple have offered support to the appeal from the deck. In March, the Duchess appeared to fight back tears over the Ukraine crisis when visiting the Ukrainian Cultural Center in London. The Duke and Duchess, who revealed their eldest children have been questioning them about the conflict, brought trays of homemade chocolate brownies and granola bars with them from Kensington Palace to give to the members of the Ukrainian community and volunteers they met. At the time, they also spoke with Sala to learn more about the ongoing Ukraine humanitarian appeal and how best the UK public can continue to support Ukraine. The couple's visit today comes as members of the royal family were left reeling after Prince Harry gave another explosive interview on American TV. Harry, 37, was speaking to breakfast show today from the Invictus Games in the Netherlands, where he is spending the week after flying in from California with wife Meghan. Prince Charles is said to be at the end of his tether with his youngest son as palace staff who cared for Her Majesty throughout the pandemic accused the Duke of breathtaking arrogance over his suggestion his grandmother needs extra protection. He claimed that she confides in him things she can't talk to anyone else about, and in a barbed comment he said of his visit to Windsor Castle last week, I'm just making sure that she's protected and got the right people around her. He also risked further fueling the rift with his estranged older brother by stating that their late mother, Diana, Princess of Wales, was now watching over him from beyond the grave as she's done her bit with Prince William and his family. Prince Harry and Prince William are said to have barely spoken and had an incredibly strained relationship after two years of rows over Meghan Markle and her alleged treatment of staff, the couple's decision to emigrate to America and the truth bombs the Sussexes have dropped in TV interviews watched by tens of millions of people around the world. The couple stopped off en route to see the Queen at Windsor Castle last Thursday, the first time the Duchess of Sussex has set foot in the UK for more than two years. Harry had not seen his grandmother, who turns 96 today, since early last summer, however the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were away holidaying in the French Alps with their children, just as Prince Harry and Meghan visited the Queen and Prince Charles for a peace offering in Windsor. It is understood Prince William and Kate were staying in the resort of Courcheval, with a picture circulating online of them watching their eldest son Prince George enjoy a skiing lesson. Royal correspondent Robert Jobson said that it was significant that the couple were not involved in the meeting between Harry and Meghan and other senior royals. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have led well wishes to the Queen on her 96th birthday. Prince William, 39, and Kate Middleton, 40, shared two photographs on Instagram to mark the occasion, including a touching family snap showing the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh with some of their great-grandchildren. The couple hailed the Queen as an inspiration in the accompanying post, writing, wishing Her Majesty the Queen a very happy 96th birthday today. An inspiration to so many across the UK, the Commonwealth and the world, it's particularly special to be celebrating in this hashtag Platinum Jubilee year. The Queen will mark the day privately at Wood Farm at Sandringham after travelling by Windsor Castle yesterday. The modest farm in the grounds of the Norfolk estate is where her beloved husband Prince Philip spent much of his time after retiring from royal duties. It comes amid fresh frustration from the royal family after Prince Harry took potshots at the firm in US TV interviews Prince Charles is said to be at the end of his tether with his youngest son as palace staff who cared for Her Majesty throughout the pandemic accused the Duke of Sussex of breathtaking arrogance over his suggestion his grandmother needs extra protection. 
He claimed that she confides in him things she can't talk to anyone else about, and in a barbed comment he said of his visit to Windsor Castle last week, I'm just making sure that Shush is protected and got the right people around her. He also risked further fueling the rift with his estranged older brother by stating that their late mother, Diana, Princess of Wales, was now watching over him from beyond the grave as Shush has done her bit with Prince William and his family. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are carrying on as usual and released her photos to mark the Queen's birthday. In the first photograph, the couple are seen admiring Kate's 2019 Royal Chelsea Flower Show Garden with Her Majesty. The second photograph, which was taken by the Duchess of Cambridge at Balmoral Castle in 2018, shows Prince Philip and the Queen with seven of their great-grandchildren. The Duke of Edinburgh has his arm around Peter Philip's daughter Isla, while the Queen is seen holding a then-baby Prince Louis in her arms. The photograph was first released by the Cambridges following the Duke of Edinburgh's death last year. It comes after a new portrait of the Queen with two of her beloved fell ponied was released to mark her 96th birthday. Taken in the grounds of Windsor Castle last month, the glorious photograph shows the monarch standing with two of her own favorite fell ponies, Bybeck Nightingale and Bybeck Katie, in front of a huge magnolia tree in full bloom of early spring. The image has been released by the Royal Windsor Horse Show, which the Queen has attended every year since 1943 and was taken by Henry Dallal, who was commissioned to take an official portrait of her to mark her 90th birthday. This year the Royal Windsor Horse Show will mark the Platinum Jubilee with a gallop through history, a spectacular equestrian display showcasing horses from across the globe. Her love for the equine world is something she shared with her mother, and she has been breeding and racing horses for more than 60 years. The Epsom Derby this year coincides with the Queen's Bumper Platinum Jubilee Weekend, which will also feature trooping the colour and a service of thanksgiving at St Paul's Cathedral. There is speculation the Duke and Duchess of Sussex might make the journey from California. The couple stopped off to visit the Queen at Windsor last week on their way to the Invictus Games in the Netherlands. Harry said his grandmother is not looking forward to her birthday milestone in another interview with US television. When asked about the Queen's upcoming birthday in his interview with NBC Today presenter Hoda Kotib, Prince Harry appeared to suggest that the Queen was bored of the celebrations. Speaking to the broadcaster, he said, I think shushes, I think after a certain age you get bored of birthdays. Ms. Kotib replied, you think Shush is bored of her 96, I think so, responds Prince Harry. But the Duke then appeared to change tack when asked if the Queen will be bored for her jubilee. He replied, no I don't think so, Shush has had a few jubilees now and everyone is slightly different. I'm sure she is looking forward to it, that is all for today news, please make sure to leave your comment and subscribe the channel below for more news update.